Hi YouTube, this is Tanavi. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a Kool-Aid um, Kool Play-Doh. So this is what you need. Okay, let me see. Okay, there we go. Okay. Here we go. You're gonna need a spatula, a bowl, and some Kool-Aid. This is only Kool-Aid that works. Um, it's unsweetened Kool-Aid. Any other Kool-Aid with sugar, whatever, will not work. This is the only thing. And the color and the smells, it based on the Kool-Aids. Let's say if it's orange, it would smell like orange and the color would be orange. In this case, this is a tropical punch. So it should come uh, red. Red color of this one. Okay, you're gonna need two packets of this, Kool-Aid. And you're gonna need a tablespoon. And you're gonna need a measuring cup. This is one cup. And a half a cup. And you're gonna need just on any oil, vegetable oil. This is what I have on hand. And all-purpose flowers. Okay. So here's the ingredients. Let's see if I can show this to you. So you need two and a half cups of flour, two cups of water, two tablespoons of uh, oil, two one cup of salt. Oh, I forgot salt, and two packet of unsweetened Kool-Aid. All right. And then in the meantime, while you get all your ingredients. I don't know, you can see it. You have your water over here boiling. See? And what, with the water, the two and uh, two cups of water, you should put um, two tablespoons of oil. Here we go, two. So this is two and a half cups of water. It's boiling right now. Okay. okay. So you have to excuse my dog. There's something exciting. I forgot. I have to go get salt. I'll be right back. And salt. There you go. All right. While the, my water is still boiling with the oil in it, I'm going to put the dry ingredients. I'm going to start out with unsweetened Kool-Aid, okay, one, two, okay, there you go. And then I need one cup of salt, okay, one cup of salt. Just any salt. There we go, one cup. And I need two and a half. Okay, my water is boiling right now. So I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. Okay, you have to have the water come to a boiling like this. You can use the microwave. Uh, microwave, so I'm going to two and a half cups of water. I mean, uh, two and a half cups of flour. One, two, and half. Okay. There you go. Then I'm gonna put the flour over here. And this is the the most important um, part about making Kool-Aid Play-Doh. You have the wet ingredients here. And there's your dry ingredients. And then make sure you mix this really well. You mix the Kool-Aid and the salt and the flour really well. Here we go. You have to make this well and you have to make it and mix it into a separate bowl first. So you don't want to mix the dry ingredients and the 
and the wet at the same time. There we go. Okay. I think it's good now. Now, if I do this in the classroom, this is the part that I do with the children. And then when it's time to put the hot ingredients in, I go to a separate room and I mix it really well until it kind of cool down a little bit. And then I come out. I do not let children help me at all at this um, with the hot ingredients, the water and the oil. Okay. Got it? All done. I think that's mixing. In the meantime, I'm going to need to put my wet ingredient. Remember, I put two and a half cups of water plus two tablespoons of oil in here. So I'm going to turn it off. There we go. Now, when I pour it, I don't pour it all at once. I pour it a little bit and I mixed it as I pour. See? And when I pour here, I pour where where it's um, the water is not there yet. See, look, I'm gonna show you. Let's say I don't pour it right here. I pour it right. You see it? It's right here, right there, where is the water hadn't hit it yet. So here we go. Okay, it smells really good at this stage. Right now, it smells like. Um, uh, fruit punch. So if you do a grapes, it would smell like grapes all over the classroom. If you do um, orange, it would smell like orange. Oh, this is hot. All right, I think I'm going to pour the rest in. See, I'm going to pour right here where the flour is at. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pour it in. So I poured as I mixed. There we go. Be careful, this is hot. Very hot. Oh. Okay. I'm going to pour the rest of the water here. Okay. Careful. Very hot, so you mix it. All right, so remember, this part we don't do it with the children. And you mix it really well. See, do you see the steaming? I don't know if you see the steam, but it's steam because it's hot. Now the water can be lukewarm, but the play-doh will not turn out as well. Okay. So, all right. So, at this point, right here, I just uh, take a little bit of flour, my flour here. Kanya, put it on the table or on the counter at this at this instant, I put on my counter, and I'm gonna pour it out like this. Okay, be careful, very hot. Okay. So be careful not to put too much flour because your Play-Doh might be dry. Just a little bit so it won't stick onto anything. Then you just kind of start knitting it with your hands. I just put a little flour so it won't stick to my uh, counter, to my hands. And this is another important part too. Make sure you mix it really well with the water and the, the water and the oil to your dry ingredients. Because you don't do it really well with this spatula. So you have to use your hands to mix it. There we go. 
And you have to put some muscle into it. Muscle. Sometimes, if I feel like it's not as oily, you could add a little bit, a little bit oil into it. I, I usually add a little bit more to it, so make it a little bit oily. You don't have to, but you want to, you can. Just makes it, just make the play-doh nice and soft and not falling apart while the children are playing with it. And I use, we make fresh Play-Doh once a week, and the children love it. Jack! Shh! Anyway, it's amazed me how we make this Play-Doh, or this activity, we do this activity once a week, every Monday, and every time I make it, these children, they make it feel like it's the first time they ever seen it. They love this. So, all right. So, it's still warm. And then this is the part that I let them feel my hands. And I said, it's hot. They can't touch it yet. So, you keep knitting until you can, you know, it's, it's cooled down enough for the children to, um, to, uh, play. And then you just give them a small piece like this and make sure you flatten up for them. So it's kind of cool down a little bit, like this. And then you just give it to them. Okay, so my next question is, you probably want to know how long is it going to last, how to store it. I normally put in a container like this, airtight container, uh, for the week. But... Since we don't have to go to school, I'm going to put in this air in the bag, Ziploc bag. I mean, not a, just a bag. But you can store in anything as long as airtight. And then at school, it lasts for one week. Um, but this is the most important critical point, too. Is that when you before you put in here and before you close it up, make sure this is completely cooled down. If it's wet, I don't know if you can see the little heat right here. If it's still warm or hot, this will be moldy the next day. So your best bet is that just leave it out until it completely cool down. And then you put in a bag, airtight bag or airtight container. So this is how you make cool it. And uh, if, you, if you do it at the house... And a parent tell me that this thing lasts her for six months. So when her child is done playing with it, she put an airtight bag and she put it in the refrigerator. A cloth airtight, and she put it in the refrigerator and it lasts her for six months. But at the school, we only use, do it once a week. So right now, I'm not gonna put in this in this bag right now. I'm gonna put it, uh, leave it right here until it's nice and cool. And I'm gonna start mixing a little bit more. The more you mix it, the more you need it, the better it is. See, it feels really good right now. So, if you have any question, oops, oh boy. Okay, my, my camera holder here falling apart on me. Okay. If you have any question, ask me. But um, I do this. This is I do it mostly for my coworker. She she doesn't know how to make it, or she wants me to make it my way. So I'm I'm doing it for my co do this for my coworker. But if you have any question or uh, anything, the, the step when the question about step, please let me know. Uh, make some um, put in the comments, and I will try to reply to you. Well, thank you so much for watching my Kool-Aid Play-Doh. Thank you. Bye.